Hey YouTubers, thanks for tuning in for another exciting episode with me, Prime, as we explore Epic Treasures Part 2. Let's get into this. So previously on uh, episode one of Epic Treasures, I went and talked over uh, several different, about nine or ten different Transformers from the G1 and from Beast Wars and, well, I guess Beast Machines as well, um, of, from my childhood, from the house that I grew up. So I have another nine or ten uh, Transformers that I had from my childhood from my old uh, family house and uh, I want to share it with you. So, um, yeah, so let's, uh, I already said get into this, but <laughs> let's do it. Um, so the first one is G1, they're all G1s, uh, Hot Rod. Hot Rod, this is the version before it becomes Rodimus Prime. Hot Rod was a very, uh, oh, yeah, he's kind of broken, but <laughs> Hot Rod, he, uh, his character, he was kind of like, um, likes to show off a lot um, before he matured and by doing that he also by accidentally caused the death of Optimus Prime not good at all in the Transformers movie because he uh, tried to stop Megatron and then he just got in the way and Megatron shot Optimus and got and he got killed until uh, way later where in future episodes where he comes back but anyway um, this is Hot Rod. Uh, to transform him, he's pretty easy. Um, there is a, a different version of Hot Rod later on in the G1. There was two different versions of Hot Rod in the G1 toy line. One is uh, this version, and then the the they made another version where, like in the movie, he becomes a new leader of the Autobots, and when he takes on Optimus Prime's matrix of leadership uh, his car the car becomes like a transport truck car it's a car but looks like a transport truck um, yeah I don't have him in toy um, but someday I will get him <laughs> so the transform typically uh, this doesn't actually come off it broke unfortunately but basically it would you would pull up and then it would uh, turn around so this part is showing upwards so I'll just put that down I'll show you what it looks like afterwards so basically his legs come out like this feet comes out like that and then his arms come out like this and then the chest piece uh, to the head part pushes out like this and then the chest piece goes up like this, like that, see so his head, and his arms turn around and they go up like that. And then the same on this side, like that. And then this part, if it didn't break off, it would show up like that. So that's what he would look like. His name is Hot Rod. And then later when he becomes the new leader of the Autobots, he becomes Rodimus Prime. And there's a different toy where he has like a transport truck. Because, you know, oh yeah, and the torso here goes like that. So you know where his front part, you know, robot part is. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's Hot Rod there. He's pretty cool when he's not broken. But <laughs> I do want, my goal is with every Transformer I have, I want to get duplicates. So I want to display it. You can see the robot mode and the vehicle mode. And if it's a triple changer, you can maybe get a third one. Who knows? We'll see. Next toy that I brought back, uh, his name is Shrapnel. Shrapnel. And yes, he is missing an arm. Uh, it broke off. This was uh, originally my brother's, which uh, now has been passed on to me. Um, and yeah, he's pretty cool. He transforms from a robot into an insect. Uh, so I'll show you how he transforms. Um, so in the show, there was three main uh, Insecticons. Um, and he was one of three. And his name is Shrapnel. 
Um, they weren't that loyal to Megatron. Uh, he would do whatever him and the other two Insecticons would. They would do what is best interest to him and not of the Decepticon army. Um, and they were known to come in if they needed to eat metal, tear up like a base or, or a robot or whatever. Uh, they love eating metal. <laughs> so basically he's pretty easy to transform. Um, these antennas here go like that. And then you flip them over. His legs just push in. Push in like so. And then voila, he's an Insecticon. Yeah, yeah. Next uh, Transformer that I brought back from uh, the house that I grew up on uh, is Grimlock. He is the leader of the Dinobots from the G1 series uh, and he was definitely in the cartoon. Um, the Dinobots weren't that smart because um, they tried to, in the show originally when they made the Dinobots, they tried to make them similar to dinosaurs. Uh, and so that included their intellect. <laughs> They're not that bright and in the show they need lots of room uh, to move around. Actually there was one, there was a three-parter episode in the G1 where it was called Dinobot Island where the Dinobots they were just too big and they kept on hitting other Autobots by mistake and and not they just needed to that space. So anyway they found this island called this was a prehistoric island where there was actually live dinosaurs and then so they went there to train and um, later on then the Subsicons found out they tried to steal all the resources which caused um, time loops and yeah it, it's kind of crazy later on <laughs> anyway so Grimlock yeah he is the leader of the Dinobots um, they're in toy I've only had Two Dinobots, Grimlock and Slug, which I mean, sorry, Slag, which later was renamed the Slug because apparently it was an offensive word in, in Great Britain, apparently, uh, <laughs> later on. <laughs> but uh, I'll talk about Slag another day uh, when I find him. <laughs> so, but yeah, so this he this Grimlock was from the G1 toy line, and um, they did do a remake of. You know, in G2 Generation 2 toys and they did a recoloring of blue and I think there was a couple other colors but I uh, never actually had the G2 version but this was actually my brother's that was handed down to me um, yeah so let's uh, transform so his head comes off like this and then the little arms go out like this and then you can see his robot head and then this part his chest part here or his stomach for a dynamo, but it comes his chest. And then his arms, legs come out like that. And then that comes out like that. So there's fists. And then the bottom, so the, the tail part comes out. This part's broken. Um, but it comes out like that. And then the legs, somehow, uh, comes out like this. And then this one comes out like that. And they fold like that, like he's doing the splits. And then this part go folds up like that. And then this part folds up like that. So then you have him in robot mode. Arr. Transformer I wanted to talk about. Uh, he is a triple changer. He is a Decepticon. He's been on the show in the original G1 cartoon TV show and the original G1 uh, movie. Uh, I have shown him in my original video of Galvatron because he was the spaceship that when they threw out Megatron then it became Galvatron. Uh, Astro Train! So Astro Train is a triple changer like I just said. He goes from a train choo -choo -choo -choo, to a spaceship to a robot. So and uh, this was also my brothers that I got handed on to me. Uh, so one of the good thing about having brothers um, you can get stuff handed down to you. <laughs> and yeah, so um, I'll show you how to transform. So we'll first of all transform him into a spaceship. So if you flip him over and then these the sides come down and they become wings. And then the leg parts here, if, they, if you flip up the leg part here and then inside the, the spaceship part 
the where they drive it comes out and then the top part of the legs fold back in and then boom you got a spaceship right and then uh, to transform the robot you left the, the this, these two up again you fold it back in you put it back down again you pull it out kind of out like that and become the legs right and this top here pulls up and you get to see his head right there and then right and then his arms come out like that and then you do the same on this side and then he has a chest plate right here that can move up and voila astro train in robot mode of the giants in the g1 series was a giant named defensor and uh he was basically the five transformers that transform into one big giant named defensor they <clears throat> they were called the protectobots and i don't have all of them uh, i know i have hotspot which is a big blue fire truck he's somewhere in that in the house that i grew up on i have to find him i have to find him down the road i will share uh him in a video as well but uh, the one that I do have here, um, I have, I brought back. His name is uh, First Aid. First Aid. <laughs> First Aid. And he transforms from a robot into an ambulance. And he's also, I think he's either the arm or the leg of Defensor. Um, you can see it on the screen about there. Uh, so, but yeah, I'll show you how to transform him. Uh, basically, if he was connecting into hotspot for either the arm or the leg, his head would go down like this, and then it would connect right in. See? See? Right? So I'll just put that back up. And so his arms just snap in like so, like so. Top part goes in like that. And the legs fold in like that. And then you just snap it in, and voila, he's an ambulance. The next one I'm going to talk about, in the G1 line, uh, they did uh, a series of two different Transformers, which they call them the Jump Starters. I do have both. One I actually bought, the other one I inherited from my brother again. And uh, uh, so his name, this guy's name is Topspin. Uh, the Jump Starters were... I, Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't believe they were in the cartoon at all. Um, but yeah, he transforms from a robot into a spaceship. Now the thing is with these guys, they're like, they're so easy to transform. Like, yeah, but like apparently when they're in, back in the day, when they're in robot mode, Apparently, there's wheels on the bottom here, and if you wind him back and then let him go, back in the day, they would actually transform on themselves. Um, now, it doesn't happen anymore because they're vintage and they're old, but as you can see, like I said before, there's wheels here, right? So, I tried it, it doesn't happen anymore, but, oh, and this is actually... Not the Hasbro version of the toy, but the Takara version. Just notice that if you look on the back there. Not sure if you can see that or not. <coughs> but this Takara. So Takara is apparently the it's the Japanese version of him. How we got him, I have no idea. <laughs> but I just noticed just now uh, that he's actually from the Japanese line, not the... Like the, the Hasbro, the American version is by Hasbro, but he's Takara. So, yeah. Another Autobot giant that uh, I had a couple toys growing up um, was uh, the Aerial Bots. I, didn't, I only had two of the Aerial Bots, which I'm going to be talking about in this video. Uh, so, of the G1 toy line, uh, this was the last one in this video, and his name is Air Raid. Uh, like 
uh, first aid for Defensor. Um, he is of an arm or a leg of Superion, is the name of the giant, and like his head would go down like that, right? And it would hit in, click in to uh, Silverbolt, was which is the the big big guy of the giant, and you have the other leg or a fist there, depending if he was the arm or the leg. And yeah, so he was pretty cool. I think I got him in a garage sale. Um, so basically transforming is pretty easy. You just you set this down like that. And then the arms go, the arms on the side, go in, like that, you push it in, wings come out, and the tail goes back like that, and then voila, you have an airplane, air raid. Next three uh, transformers are not actually from the G1. Um, they're from the G2 and the MicroMasters toy line of transformers <clears throat> from the 90s. Uh, this guy here, his name is Fireflight. He is a repaint of the Fireflight from the Aerobots in the G1. So he's another Aerobot that's part of Superion. Um, the one thing that uh, you may notice with some of the G2 repaints of the same character, they just make them look kind of more cooler, a different design, but it's essentially the same character, the same toy. It's the same name on the box. Um, so yeah, he's always a different color than G1. Um, but yeah, his name is uh, Fireflight. So they transform him. <coughs> he was also in the show as well. Uh, so like I, like I showed the other, the head can go out if it's, the, if it's an arm or the leg, it just snaps on for the giant. Uh, so the arms just fit in like that and it transforms exactly the same as Air Raid. Um, and the top part goes like that. And then the, I only have the one wing. The other wing broke off a long time ago. I apologize. I think I got him. Uh, I, I bought him. He was like seven ninety nine, I think, in the stores. I got him as a G two. Next uh, Transformer G two. He was in the uh, original show. Uh, he wasn't that popular of a character. He was the uh, envir. I would say the environmentalist or the peaceful. Um, character of the Autobots. He didn't like fighting, he didn't like guns, uh, he wanted to do everything peacefully, which is great. Uh, but when you're watching a show about good guys versus bad guys, a war, <laughs> <coughs> uh, he, he doesn't take a center stage. But his name is Beachcomber. The G1 version of Beachcomber, he is blue. Um, and basically he transforms from a robot into a jeep and uh yeah he's easy to transform he was really he's one of the cheaper transformers he probably i think is only like five bucks maybe brand new back in the day so the heads goes down like that his arms go up like that his legs go back like that and on a waha a jeep the last one uh he is his name is sunrunner uh, he's part of the Micro Machines Transformer toy line, or sorry, Micro Masters toy line. When I got him, uh, they're very cheap, but they came in with like three or four, at least three or four different Transformers in one package because they're so tiny. Look at, look how tiny it is. You know? Really? Yeah. Anyway, uh, so he transforms into a plane, and so he's missing one arm but basically to transform him he wasn't in the show uh, they came out after the uh, North American G1 show ended um, I don't know if he was in the Japanese shows um, could have been not sure but yeah so here he is he transforms into a robot from plane this uh, this part here folds down chest you can see his face right there see? right there and then the wings go back the legs go up 
and then his hand goes like that. I did have another hand, but it broke, fell off somewhere. But yeah, there, he's done. <laughs> and I just want to thank you guys for tuning in. And not right away, but later on, I will be making a third video, part three of Epic Treasure. Um, and uh, I'll have to show you some more, another 10 toys or whatever. We'll see. <laughs> but the next episode will be something different. So until then, remember, have fun looking for vintage toys. And remember, that's just prime.